Hello everybody, welcome back to another LEGO City update. The big question is, is when am I gonna hang this stuff and finish my stairs? I don't know, we're gonna do that sometime in 2022 though. Just the other day we were working on the beach and surrounding area and we actually reduced its size by raising one of these drop tables. But we didn't get a chance to work on any of the details. Of course, the water detail and the sand detail looks pretty amazing. Oh yes, we like that. And same with some of the rock work over here by the old fishing store. But there's a bunch of stuff that we need to work on, such as putting our pier back with the Ferris wheel, getting all of our beach detail done here, rebuilding a new boat dock over here, getting the shipping yard all figured out, getting this boat ramp figured out and placed. Also, finding out what we're gonna do with this huge area right here where you can see my coffee. Yes, I'm gonna need that today because thinking of what we're gonna do here is gonna require the coffee, for sure. <laughs> we also got a bunch of space over here by the campground in Ninjago area, and we've gotta figure out what we're gonna do with all of this space. So that's what we're gonna do here today in this LEGO City update. I think we're gonna start with our beach detail because the beach detail is pretty straightforward. We've built many beaches in our day. Well, built, destroyed, and rebuilt. Uh, lots of beaches, and we've got all of the components of the beach right over here. So we've got some beach cabanas, we've got a beach bar, a rental shack, the palm tree, all the minifigures, and that Ferris wheel, of course. Now, the issue is, is the beach, or the sand portion of the beach, is actually like half the size. Probably more than that, actually. It's like a quarter of the size that it used to be. No, no half, actually. Yeah, we'll stick with half. So I don't know how we're going to fit all of that stuff onto this tan area here. But I'm excited to do it because it's a reduced size. So that means it's going to be a lot more crowded, which I think is really cool. I think the more stuff you jam into an area, such as the under table area here, the better it looks. That's another thing that we need to redo and we'll be doing in this update as well. Fixing that rock edge there and also putting our blue fabric back as the backdrop. But yeah, let's start with the beach where we got this guy right here protecting it for us, but he needs some company. So the first thing that we decided to do was actually reinstall the pier that hosts the Ferris wheel. One thing that we'd like to do is get some parts and pieces to recreate this fun in the sun on this side of the Ferris wheel and replicate it on this side here so people on the beach can actually see that as well. Although it does make sense to have it on this side so people accessing the ferris wheel can see that and also another thing that we decided to do was fix up down here so our rock work is all fixed up and all of our sharks are back and all of our seaweed and plant life down here is all back as well like coral reef and stuff like that i guess it's not really seaweed i guess there's some seaweed but it's more so like coral reef and stuff like that has been all fixed up so that's good i don't know if we're going to put the blue fabric back yeah, we probably will. I need to get lights for down here as well. All right, so we finished up with our beach. Lots of new stories happening out there, and it looks fantastic in the new condensed layout. Now, we are missing the palm trees. We're going to do those last because we're still going to be making lots of changes to this area, such as the basic boat dock layout that I have going over there. And then also we have a huge plan for this area right here, including a parking lot, a turnoff, a whole bunch of shopping and stuff like that. We'll discuss that right after we take a look at these stories on the beach. So this is unreal. We've got the beach cabanas, significantly less of them. And then right over here, we have a hammock. We get the lifeguard, the surfing happening, some swimming happening in the water here, nice big waves, some dolphins, the flamingo floaty over here. Now these are the new stories that we added to the beach. So there is a sand castle tournament happening right here. And you can see this lady here is taking a picture of her granddaughter. This guy is the clear winner. He's all proud. And this guy's not too happy. He's currently kicking his sand castle because he didn't get first place like this guy there. Also, you can see there's all sorts of new birds all over the beach. We've got these seagulls right here that knocked over that trash can and are up to no good. And then we've got a bird and bird nest over here. And just a whole bunch of shopping, drinking, well, not shopping, but eating food, uh, drinking, boat rentals, stuff like that. And also even people going to the bathroom. 
on the beach here. Can't wait to add the palm trees because there's going to be significantly more of them. Well, at least it's going to look that way because it's a significantly smaller area. So I changed up this area and I was trying to make it work with road plates. The problem is, as you can see, that this is actually two and a half plates right here. So to make it work with road plates, I would have to A, move this boat ramp over so it's actually lined up with the road and also cut another road plate. And I don't feel like doing that. So we took the negative and turned it into a positive. We took the extra space from not moving that over and use that as a ramp going to the dock. I'm gonna try and have it at that angle there. Obviously, this is not done yet. As you can see, we're missing some supports. So we're gonna do that. And also, the other positive is the fact that we can custom tile all this here and have like a road leading to the boat ramp, a parking lot of some sort, and there's gonna be all sorts of shopping and stuff here because you can see there's a lot of space for buildings. I fixed up the dock and everything, so now that looks pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna be able to accommodate boats sort of all around it. And then also larger cargo boats could be loaded up right there using that overhead crane. Looks good. This ramp here is at a nice angle. And then you can see I've added these bumpers and tie off spots all around the boat dock. It's sort of like the old style, like what it was prior to me starting this video or starting these changes but it's got like a fresh design, fresh look, you know, with the angle going down there. And the fact that you can access the boat dock beside the boat ramp, you used to access it off the cliff edge. So that's a nice touch. And then we started working on this industrial yard here. So you got your two containers, you got some forklifts, you got some steel, uh, you've got a helicopter ready for shipping or cargo. Uh, there's a little entrance there. And you can see I've shuffled these base plates all around here. So this is now sitting on these large 15 by 15 gray plates. We were shuffling them all over the place. You can still see that we have some holes open here. I have a dilemma. I either use these that aren't base plates or I cut more base plates, which I don't feel like doing, or I order 16 stud base plates, of course. Or I can get more gray plates like this and we can fill this area here because you can see this is a base plate and a half so gray gray base plates will fit nicely there but that's right close to the campground do we want gray base plates there we don't even know what buildings we're going to put there so why would we cut base plates or go buy special base plates right so you gotta sort of play that by ear now there's some final details that we got to do here of course we've got to add some boats and we got to add the palm trees and we've got to start adding some buildings here and start putting together a plan for that huge open space that we now have so compare us walking down the stairs right now at the end of this video with the stair walk at the beginning of this video. Doesn't that look so much better? It's so condensed and everything is just visible. Boom, just like that. So the beach, we added, of course, all of the palm trees. That adds some nice color. Oh my gosh, they're nice and dense on there. It looks beauty, love it. Then all the storytelling there, we added all of the boats to the docks over here and fix some of the consistencies with the bumpers and tie offs and stuff like that. Also added the boat ramp and a boat going down. It would be nice if I had enough water elements, that being all the trans light blue and dark blue to do the water like that over here. One day we'll have enough. One day it will look all like this here. And I'd like to sort of build it up around the boats with like slopes and studs and stuff like that. So it looks like the boats are actually emerged in water. That would be really cool. However, if you did do that, it'd have to be very strategic. You can see the boats, or the boat area is a little bit full. We might have to cycle some boats out once in a while because it's just a bit too many crammed in there. Like these guys would not be able to get out. So there's just a few too many for the smaller water now, which is all right though. They're just sitting there and it's not bad to just cycle them out once in a while. What else did we do? We added a parking lot right here. A little parking lot, not bad. Beauty, people got place to park now if they wanna go uh, to the beach or rent one of these beach houses or go to do some fishing at the docks or maybe make their way to the campground or whatever it may be. Honestly, I'd obviously rather have a lot more parking but parking takes up very valuable space. Now we have to decide what we're gonna do with this available space right here and also over there. You can see I've spun these little mini three-in-one modulars. They're the three-in-one modulars, but I added a bunch of parts and pieces to them to create like mini modulars. So we spun them around facing this way. Eventually what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have a row of buildings 
going along here, facing this way. And then we're going to have a row of buildings going along here, facing this way. And then there's going to be a walkway right here that'll all be tiled off and look good. And there's lots of different things that we can do here, just sort of different beach shopping. We could also put like an outdoor weightlifting area like Muscle Beach. We could do a lot of different stuff here. We've got a lot of space to work with now. As you can see, one, two, three, four, all of those base plates over there, and then this whole strip along here. Because you only need a 16 stud walkway, roughly, right? So you got all of this space here. Not only that, but we're gonna make some more space in the downtown core soon. I think we have a plan to remove some buildings out of here and also rebuild a few of them. Not the modulars, but these large scrapers look really out of place. So we're gonna be probably redesigning those and getting rid of those, making something different. And also, once again, the arcade has to change as well. And I think the arcade will probably make its way down here toward the beach. I don't know. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Another thing that we have to do is make a school using all of these Heart Lake City school sets that come with all sorts of fantastic pieces to make a school. You can see all the new get masonry bricks and all of these pillars and stuff like that. And all the windows, we're going to be able to make a really cool school using those parts. Probably will take up an entire base plate. And then there's lots of other rebrickable models that we want to do and work on our zoo and stuff like that. But I don't know. We sort of got to make some changes to the downtown core, reallocate a few things, move things around before we finalize our plans for this area over here. But 2022, we're working on the city in a big way. And this really opens up a bunch of space for that city works project. So I'm really excited about it. The beach has never looked better. The boat docks have never looked better. And we're thrilled with the outcome of this beach detail day. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I can't wait to continue working on the city and just make it, in my eyes, amazing. This is really just a casual Lego city that integrates a lot of different modular buildings with a big space and it's a lot of fun. It's a tremendous amount of fun just moving this stuff around, building different stories and whatnot. We just have so much fun with it, it's incredible. Everybody remember to like, subscribe, and of course comment below letting us know what you think. And remember to stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on the channel in the very near future. Peace out.